I am so excited about what we have here. Can you see it? The Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. I just cannot wait. We've got a gigabyte of RAM on this. It is supposed to be very fast compared to the other iterations, Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi 2, etc. This one is their latest and greatest. We have a case here. We have some heat sinks. We have our adapters. This is just a standard USB adapter like you would use for your phone and an AC wall charger and of course micro SD to install the operating system. Now in this video, part one, I'm going to unbox the Raspberry Pi 3. I'm going to get it all set up in its case and installed. And then in part two, we will install an operating system. Now you can leave a comment below. Let me know if you have a specific request of what you want to see run on the Raspberry Pi 3. But my plan as of this moment is to put a game emulator on it. So that's what we will work on in part two. Now let's get started and get this installed. All right. So we've got some instructions here. Actually comes with quite a bit of uh, instructions about plugging in, logging into Raspberry Pi, um, utilizing the command interface, etc for the preloaded system there. If you're familiar with Linux, you're going to be able to get around the Raspberry Pi uh, quite easily. What makes this such an amazing computer is of course it's low cost entry, uh, but additionally there is just a ton of community support just like anything Linux related. You just get that amazing community that comes with it that have built all kinds of incredible emulators and software and, and just robotics and everything you could think of these guys have done and it's just amazing community and that's what makes products like this so successful so right away you've got your audio you have HDMI you have the micro USB connection there uh, you've got your microprocessor you've got Ethernet you've got four USB ports and then of course here you can connect jumpers and all kinds of uh, different gadgets uh, for uh, adding additions to this device and right here yeah right underneath is where your micro USB card will slide right in there's a little metal panel I don't know if you can see it here let me get that in focus right there where you slide uh, your memory inside so micro SD so your full-size SD will not work but this little card will and that will just pop right inside here and that slides in real nice and we're good to go now inside this little case here you've got a couple of heat sinks which probably aren't even necessary but hey they're there why not install them and these just use little 3m uh, tape to go on the top and in addition to that we have some little rubber feet and some screws. So let's go ahead. <clears throat> it looks like we've got four little screws here. And the easiest way to really get these things to fit is just to very gently. And I've got to take out this memory here so it wasn't ready to go in yet because they have a little opening on the bottom if you can see uh, that is the memory card protruding out uh, obviously impacts but they have that excess port there so you can take memory uh, and swap it out so you could literally have one operating system with game emulator you know another one running a version of Linux or whatever you want um, you can do on there so now we've got to put our little screws in and I've got the perfect little screwdriver for that to make sure this is nice and secure. This whole kit costs uh, around without the memory card, just the uh, Raspberry Pi 3, the um, plastic clear case, they have a black one too, but I wanted to see inside so I like the clear case. 
about 40 bucks on eBay. Um, not everybody was selling them for that price, and you certainly have to uh, stalk eBay to wait for a good deal on them. Uh, so definitely do that. And I'm going to take this out of view just for a second to get this other screw in because it's not simple as it may look. And there we go. All four screws are in. It takes a lot of maneuvering. The screws are very pointy. Uh, to go into that clear plastic so obviously this is not a very expensive uh, kit or case for this you can get more expensive cases some have fans and everything else although you don't really need that with the Raspberry Pi it's worth mentioning that this is the first Raspberry Pi that I've ever worked with or set up so if you are new this will be fun because we can do this along together uh, if you have one on order you're waiting for one you just got one great video to watch and uh, we'll be doing some fun things with it. The reason why I didn't have the previous versions of Raspberry Pi is because I was an early adopter on the chip, which is another similar design or idea to the Raspberry Pi, a very inexpensive computer, and it came with an emulator, almost like a Game Boy with a little screen built on. Now you can get those add-ons for the Raspberry Pi now, uh, but at the time I wanted something portable that I could use with Linux, and the chip had all of that in one kit for a uh, GoFundMe donation. I'm still waiting for it. Supposedly there's gonna be shipping them out in the next couple of months. Uh, so when I get that, I will show it as well. And we can do a comparison between the Raspberry Pi and the chip, but there's definitely a lot of competitors coming into this market because it's become very, very uh, successful. So the AC adapter that they recommend and what comes with it is an input of 100 to 240 vac it is 5.2 volt uh, usb 1 5.2 volt 3 amp max so output power of 10 watt so this is a little two usb ported uh, wall charger here and then you've got your standard usb cable Here is our standard USB. Um, so now that we have the device secured, you see there's these little spots for the clear feet. And so we're gonna go ahead and put those on. Make it feel like a little mini me desktop computer, right? It's got its little feet to go on the desk so it don't slide around. So ultimately a really nice kit and you can get a computer that can do all this for 40 bucks. You can run web servers off of these. You can run file servers. You can set up media centers. Uh, so Kodi is definitely a very popular tool that you can install on them. So instead of buying a Roku box you can build your own in essence which is amazing. So now we're going to go ahead and install our little memories. A micro SD card. Make sure you guys can see that. So that's installed and it's flush with the case. So it's not going to knock out if you hit it there. And now we've got these little tiny heat sinks. They're adorable. So essentially, it's just got a sticky 3M tape on the back. And we're going to peel that. Just want to see what it says on the processor. So, Broadcom processor on there. So, we'll put that on gently. I wouldn't put a whole lot of pressure on these again. This isn't. 100% necessary to use these. It's more of a, it's not like you're going to go overclocking it. And my understanding is these don't get very hot. Um, and obviously you're not putting any thermal paste or anything like that underneath this. It's just kind of a 3M uh, sticky. So now we can put our top case on. We have everything we need assembled there. And this is just like Legos. You just snap it in place. And there you go. I mean, how beautiful is that? 
absolutely gorgeous little computer, HDMI, your audio, your Ethernet, your USB. And it's got the nice rubberized feet so it's not moving anywhere. And so now we've got to give power to this. And let's see where our power jack is located. There it is, right on the side, right next to the HDMI. Kind of gets lost in this uh, case here. And plug that right in. And then we plug this into the wall. And we are all set. We are all set to boot this up. So, we've got a Raspberry Pi unboxed. We've got it set up for you. I hope you've enjoyed the video. We're going to do a lot more with the Raspberry Pi. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave some comments below if there's something specific you want me to do with Raspberry Pi. My goal right now is to do some game emulation. So uh, that's what I'm going to load up on it for video two. Until next time, fill your brains.